all right hello everybody good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you in the name of our lord jesus how are you doing today um i have a very uh, serious video that i want to show you here and uh you see there are some of us who are very careless in life and you know we trivialize on so much and some of us are so passive and we don't have a, the experience that anybody can you know hold on to and confess some kind of faith that people confess now don't get me wrong i am a total and complete believer in jesus christ and i believe that no weapon fashioned against you as a child of God shall prosper. But the question now is, how fortified is this child of God? Now, the next thing that somebody will ask me is, is it by your power? Is it by what you can do? Oh, no, it's not by what you can do. Now, but you you will get what I'm trying to pass across to you when I tell you this story. There is a video I want to show you here. And sometimes we actually demonize the blacks so much and um, think that the whites or the Americans the, the western world are not deep into occultism and witchcraft but i'll tell you this story first and i will you will use it to understand what video i want you to look at here there was a certain man who was a patron of uh you know ladies in brothels the prostitutes so he had this customer over the years and in the course of patronizing the woman the woman somehow developed some form of fondness for him and so the one we call falling in love you can imagine a prostitute falling in love with you know this we won't call this man a random man anymore because they have gotten too used to themselves they've gotten used to themselves and uh, probably she will always make room for him over, over overnight so uh one thing led to another the woman went to make charm she went to a witch doctor and the witch doctor prepared a charm for him for her and that charm was to make the man in return fall in love with her remember he was just a customer he had nothing attached no strings attached no emotion attached to the relationship it was just you service me i pay you and i go my way now so the woman probably was getting tired of living in a brothel and had found a man she thought she loved something like that now so one of the days uh, like I, I was saying she went to a herbalist a witch doctor who prepared some wicked charms for her and she came back with the charms and applied it the way she was told to apply it and um, the man you know in fact decided to make her his wife but there was an instruction that, would, that was given to the woman that uh, every year she must kill a white fowl for that charm for it to continue to be potent so now they started living and they had about six children they lived 12 years in the 13th year the woman felt like i've lived with this woman with this man for this 12 years should i still continue to do what i'm I, you know i've been doing for this charm so she decided she wasn't going to kill the 13th fowl on the 13th year so what happened was that at the end in the middle of that 13th year the man woke up one morning and they saw the woman beside him on the bed and he was like what are you doing here in my room and the woman said ah, i'm your wife he said no i know you as a prostitute i've been patronizing you for you know the last time i saw you was 13 years ago so how come you are on my bed and the woman was like but we have children together the man made noise and neighbors gathered and we were like man I, are you insane you have been married to this woman for 12 to 13 years what are you saying this morning the man maintained his stance that he met the woman last 13 years ago now guess what happened the man had been manipulated by strong spirits that where i was taking the sacrifice drinking the blood that the woman was given remember blood because the video i want to show you has everything to do with blood and so because of that the the service continued but on the 13th year that she stopped giving blood now blood is very very important and that is why no human being must be very careless with blood blood has significance even to god blood is very significant significant to god so when the noise became much the woman was prodded further and she started crying and confessed to what she has done now the man fell in love with the man didn't fall in love the man got hypnotized marry her and he couldn't even tell the date and the time he got married to this woman and as i'm telling you this story now i remember you know a story of a man that is so dear to me it's like a father to me who told me similar story about himself and his wife that he has been living with this woman as his wife but one day you know a voice from the inside from the within said you have been calling this woman your wife when did you marry her how did you marry her and he couldn't tell and i know the story 
of what the woman had done in the life this man i'm talking a very good man i'm talking about now so listen to me my story you will understand when you watch this video a woman who on air she didn't know she was going to be asked such question and in fact it was over the phone because a discussion was going along that line how women use their menstrual blood to prepare meal or pesta for males to fall in love with them now you may understand this you may not understand but let us watch the video first i'll be back uh, you know i've told you the story that probably should explain this video to you better but when i come back i'll have to say one or two things and then you will tell me if you have had such experience or you know someone who has had that such experience or you have even done something like that in the past we will know in the comment section don't go away be blessed <music> You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. My wife does a little bit of everything. Um, her heart and soul, she's a doula. Um, Delivers baby. Mm, she helps the mother through the delivery process. She technically can't help deliver. <laughs> so uh, just to digress for a minute, uh, Jackie here uh, mm -hmm. brought up uh, a few episodes back that there was this woman online who believes that the nutrition in the um, menstrual blood is really good for your skin. And so she yeah. uh, applies it. Yeah? yeah right. Is there's, that an I've, I've heard that, but you know, there's also- Is that also in your wife's kitchen? No. Okay, good. Acceptable. <laughs> no, but I heard in some some uh, men's and some other kitchens, <clears throat> women put their blood in tomato sauce to make men fall in love with them. But that's like a voodoo, like old school what? type of way. <gasps> I haven't heard that. That's yeah. amazing. What, I don't know. what uh, Kyle's nodding, nodding his yes. head. What is? Why are you nodding yes? I've heard that lore. Yeah, it's a lore. Exactly. What has that? Ha have you been invited over for pasta to any young lady's <laughs> house? <laughs> I want meat sauce. No, tonight it's marinara. <laughs> and I call it Mayanara. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> things we have to this watch out for. This pasta is get good. That's the way I flow. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm on the ragu. Got it. Comes out. She's also a writer. Can we call her? Let's phone her. What's her name? Hello. Miranda. Hello. Hello. Hi, Miranda. It's Howie. Hi, Howie. How are you? You're on the podcast with my daughter, Jackie, and your wife. Hello. I'm on the podcast. Yeah. Hi. Uh, we were talking about uh, the kitchen and who does the cooking, and she was talking about how you uh, dehydrate placenta in the kitchen. Uh-huh. It's true. <laughs> so here's the thing. Have you ever put your own personal menstrual blood into um, pasta sauce? Pasta sauce. Um, you know, that is the way that I got Raven to fall in love with me. Ah! Breaking news. I never thought anyone would ever ask me that question. So I can't lie. Uh, oh, my it, God. Allie. Wow. Wow. Breaking oh, news. Oh, my wife. My wife. Breaking news. No that's wonder I love her my, pasta sauce. That's why she loves my tomato sauce. So yeah. I, I was telling them, I was like, she was like, do you have pasta sauce once a month? I'm like, oh, my God, I have pasta sauce once a month. <laughs> once oh, a month. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, Shit. my yeah. God. All right, that was the short video there, and that was the story there that you heard. Now, what we are going to look at now is how careful or how careless have you been in over the years? You know, we have had so many people whose marriages have broken down. Some, you know, majority of them are not actually natural. But a lot of these things stem from this kind of diabolism that people who want to manipulate and hypnotize others doing their will and doing their bidding and you know at the end of the day there will always be a day of freedom my people used to say that you know the thief may have longer period of stealing so every day he will come and steal and go free but a day is reserved for the owner of the house to discover who the thief is now this will bring us back to you know they use blood to hypnotize people to make decisions to take decisions and plan things they never do things they never planned to do naturally all right now the question here is how come that a, a full-fledged man will, will suddenly fall in love with a woman he never planned to fall in love with and this didn't come from the heart now remember blood is very 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 significant in life and even god warned about the activities of blood and he told my people you know human not to eat the blood in a meat because life is in the blood and spirits enjoy blood 
accepted Lord. Even our God, you know, before Jesus came, has been accepting blood of animals and the blood of Abel, remember, you know, because the life is in the blood. And anything that is done with the blood is very, it would blood is very, very potent. Now, I'm actually centering this on hypnosis. Now, does it surprise you that some persons will be in a place and a certain person who claim to be a man of God will do certain things and you expect people to revolt? You expect people to say, ah, no, 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 we can't take this. This is not of God. But instead of seeing such thing happening, you will see, see them staying there. You will see them remaining there. You will see them even picking up fight against you when you speak against such things that they do. Now, look no further. Majority of them have come under the spell of blood. Now, this blood may not be, it may not actually be, uh, you know, the menstrual uh, period blood. It may not, it may be. But the thing is that sacrifice goes, you know, um, underneath, behind the scene. Now, make no mistake, I'm not saying that every manipulative person is involved in diabolism. That is not what I'm trying to say. But what I'm trying to say is that when you look deeply and you discover that something that you may not take as a person, naturally you cannot take it. In your place of work where you earn your, your, your living, you don't take it. But you come to the house, so-called house of God, and you are taking such things that you call nonsense. This does not stem from the fact that you are a stubborn person, not because you are an intolerant person, you know, that don't... Uh, just accept anything you are such a nice person such a gentle person you are filled with wisdom but then when you see things that are not supposed to be done even to a dog being done to humans you stay i was watching one so-called prophet let me just keep his name out of my mouth now because i've searched for that video i can't find it again several years ago and he was prophesying to somebody very, very popular person and, and i've done his video here his church is in the north in the middle birth in the north now and um he was prophesying to somebody and he asked that, that person do you trust me the person say yes he said open your hand and the person opened his hand and he spat in or, or into his palms and told the person to rub it and use it to rub it on his face that his miracle will come a grown-up man an adult did that exactly he rubbed on his face and people didn't see anything bad in it now this uh michael todd did similar thing not you know prophetic now he did similar thing trying to to show um a kind of um demo demonstrate certain things that he was trying to illustrate a thing he was trying to say and that cost him dearly because persons who were not under hypnosis and manipulation of the diabolic left him he did something similar now i've done that that video here and somebody was like what did this child of god do wrong and was trying to a uh, kind of compare it with jesus spitting on the floor and mixing his spittle with clay and using applying it on the eyes of the blind now that person is under spell the one that was saying that thing is under spell so what i'm trying to say here is that now so when somebody will now say but i'm a, I'm a child of god this is not supposed to have effect on me i i agree with you it's not supposed to have effect but it depends on the kind of relationship you have had with christ now if you don't also tread on the path where angels you know dread to tread now if you take loss into your hands and you become careless with these things it will have effect on you listen so many christians so many children of god have been attacked by the devil and the thing has worked on them not maybe because they're living in sin but you see there is the level of immunity that you gain in christ that is dependent on how much you know you relate with christ and how much time you 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 devote for christ you know somebody was arguing against prayer at the other time was attacking pastors that were trying to encourage people to spend time before god and pray now such a person and he gave us a testimony of what happened how that you know he was trying to relocate from nigeria to overseas and he just spent a few minutes, few seconds praying about it. And the next thing was somebody called him on phone and was asking him, are you having plans to do this? Now, because that came easily, now he thought that that is, you know, a guarantee that if you don't pray, things will happen. If you don't pray enough, things will happen. Of course, there are those that enjoy the grace of God and the goodness of God. But I want you to understand that when, when you stay very close in the innermost room and you stay in the secret place of the Most High. Now, the Bible says that it is those that abide in the secret place of the Most High that stay in the secret place of the Most High that shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So that is when these things will lose 
complete potency on you i want you to understand that it does it doesn't have anything as well let me let me just let me balance it but somebody may begin to think that i'm now bringing in my own work that it's in my it is my own work that it is i mean it is not about what you know my works are but it is about the relationship i have with the lord you may be, have a friend and that same friend is my friend if you spend enough time with that friend your friendship will be you know the tie the bonding will be more serious and closer than mine if i don't spend enough time with that person is your friend is my friend and you spend quality time with him you spend quality quality time with her and i don't have so much time i don't even call often i don't visit we only you know sometimes often we you know i mean seldomly we we discuss now there are things he will tell you that he will not tell me there is there is the deeper relationship that you will have with that person that i will not enjoy because i've been far away from the person now obviously this is how these things work you may understand what i'm saying you may not understand what i'm saying but i'm just telling you the truth now it is true that no weapon formed against you shall prosper the lord jesus said that we shall even you know uh take up serpents and scorpions and they shall not hurt us and that does you know speaks about witchcraft and what have you and the fire arrow on you it will not work on you it will not stay on you now but you don't have to be docile so that is what i'm talking about docility is not a welcome practice in the kingdom of god there must be you know utter commitment to the altar in your house there must be a commitment to god and you know that will ensure that the relationship is serviced now so when that happens if now god forbid that you you visit such a, a person maybe she sells food and she has been casting her eyes on you as a brother and one of the days you visited to eat food to buy food from her and she saw you she knew you were coming and gives you that special soup that was prepared by her menstrual blood in order to you know to tie you down you didn't know what was used to prepare the food but about the thing is that as a child of god who is having the spirit of god that thing will lose its potency that is what i'm trying to to, to tell you here now but i think that somehow the spirit of god may also leak to you um the secret i may not allow you to go to that place to visit the person so what i'm saying here is that the devil is at work but the spirit of god can outsmart the devil anytime any day if we give him the chance to do so now let's know in the comment section if this kind of practice is done in your place i never knew that something like that existed i knew that people do do shams to hypnotize people but i don't know that women go as far as using their menstrual blood to trap men to hypnotize men to fall in love with them we've been seeing things like that you know dramatized you know that people use their pants they clean their 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 their, their, their private parts of course there was a, a, a woman that was captured you know some years ago who was tying apple she would bring that up apple and would rub it on her private parts and would you know um use it you know before she would tie the apples in a in, in an island now what that does is that when you test her apple you will want to come back you test her apple you, will, you want to come back but I, I didn't know that people can go that length in doing this kind of thing in order it's disgusting isn't it it's disgusting that is absolute wickedness on its, on its own but the lord give you understanding in the name of jesus christ let's know what you think about this video in the comment section tell us if you know of such in your place whichever country you are from you know if things like that happen let us know in the comment section i'll be seeing you in the next video today from me to you shalom